take off into the runway, ladies and gentlemen. Number one, we should receive our clearance to roll in just a moment. We'd like to ask our flight attendants to please take the seats for takeoff at this time. Thank you. Members of the Ramirez family of Kansas City North were on board American Flight 965, a flight that started in Miami, a plane that crashed into the Andes Mountains. Relatives in Columbia are telling family friends in Kansas City all three were on board and that daughter Mercedes is alive. But there is no word yet on mom or dad, a couple that's well-known, well-liked, and well-respected throughout Kansas City's Colombian and Cuban communities. She survived a plane crash and now Mercedes Ramirez is home. Good evening. She is one of only four survivors of the deadly plane crash in Cali, Colombia. And now Mercedes Ramirez has returned home for more medical attention. Carlton Houston joins us live from Truman Medical Center with the latest on her condition. Carlton? Michelle and Crystal, we're awaiting word on surgery. Mercedes Ramirez is undergoing surgery at this time. Now this tragic story of a South American plane crash turned local almost two weeks ago when we learned that 21-year-old Mercedes Ramirez was on that plane. 160 people died in the crash, including Mercedes' parents, Benjamin and Mercedes. But the 21-year-old college student survived. Keep she in traveled mind, last night. Uh, she was not expected to live. Cali Columbia medical officials gave her a 30% chance to live. And from the time the plane hit the, that side of that mountain the night before until the time the rescuers were able to come and get us, there's 18 hours in between. And 18 hours is a very long time to sit and think. The way I coached with that was, was mentally removing myself from that mountain. As I further started to drift into sadness, there was something. Something that took hold of my spirit and took control of my body and made me realize that death was not going to be an option for me. At least not that day. And what that something was was an inner courage that I never knew I had. But it took over and it restored me my calm. I had no idea it could have been an hour until the rescuers came or it could be a week until they came. So I started to think, well, if we're going to be here for a long time, we need to start thinking of food. And there was this one particular shrub of berries that I kept on turning to and looking at and looking at over and over again. And the more I looked at them, the angrier I became at myself because I remember thinking all the faces of my science teachers and these teachers that I had through the years, I started thinking, if I only would have paid more attention in biology class, I'd be able to tell the difference if those darn things are poisonous or not. So all these crazy thoughts running through my head and this inner courage that brought me calm and brought me peace on this treacherous mountain all of a sudden took an ugly turn because then I started to think, I wonder if I can get Mauricio to try those berries first. <laughs> I realized that courage was no longer enough. And my world was completely turned upside down, and that's when I needed to find that new meaning of faith, which was faith in myself. Final month I was in the hospital, the Atlanta Braves had heard through a friend of mine that I was their number one fan. Namely, I was the number one fan of Chipper Jones, who was the third baseman at the time. And uh, they sent me a care package. Well, in this care package, there was an open invitation saying, once you're better, we, we heard you're a number one fan, and once you're better, we would love to invite you to come and watch us play the Cardinals when they're in your neck of the woods, and we want you to meet Chipper Jones and some of the other guys. So what great motivation. This, the only way I could get around was with the walker, so that fast forwarded me about 60, 70 years because a 21-year-old isn't supposed to get around in a walker. So I'm going to work really hard at physical therapy and getting stronger so I can meet him on my terms. Now the reward for me was to go to this Braves game. I didn't wear my back brace. I didn't walk with the walker. Just... I actually took the walker with me, but I, by golly, I refused to take it to the game with me. 
And in all these pictures that I have with Chipper Jones in the locker room, I'm leaning into him. Now, my boyfriend, who's now my husband, says, oh, well, you were just leaning into him because you're sweet on him. But the truth is, is that since I didn't have my back brace, my balance was a little off. So really, I'm leaning into him is because I was just trying to hang on for dear life. Chipper didn't need to know that, though. But I was so proud of myself, and my faith in myself had finally been restored because I realized that the only person